The 1974 Wolfpack won under intense pressure and great expectations. 39 points for David Thompson, 82 78. Wolfpack. After an undefeated 1973 season, NC State entered 1973 74, ranked number two nationally, and expected to contend for the national championship. NC State in 1974 captured the hearts of fans throughout North Carolina like few teams before or since. Thompson way up, got it. Thompson working against Nichols, drives up the alley. Thompson shoots and hit. Rebound, Ballas and Sambo. Okay, ball is taken by Rivers. With the anticipation that began following the undefeated 1973 season, coupled with the team's charismatic and entertaining style of play, the Wolfpack was the dominant team in North Carolina for several years, the best and by far the most popular team in the state. For NC State fans, it was a golden age. Those lucky enough to witness it will never forget. That team had a desire to win a pickup game, a game of horse, anything. They were ultra competitive in every area. If they were up 20, they wanted to be up 30. If they were up 40, they wanted to be up 50. As good as that team was, one of the reasons why it was good, it was a real close-knit bunch is a true chemistry of the passion of the players and our love for each individual, you know, of how we felt for one another. We've always called it the Wolfpack family, the, the family type atmosphere. I always say the four years at North Carolina State were the four greatest years of my life. NC State's 1974 squad may be peerless. The Wolfpack went 30 and one. The only blemish, an early season neutral site loss to seven-time defending national champion UCLA. Following that loss, the pack regrouped and reeled off 28 consecutive victories, nine of them against teams ranked sixth or better nationally. Passing the ball, and he lays it up and in. Front court underneath to Thompson, lay up, got it. The old alley will work beautifully. He shot back. Only ball, conference ball. champions advanced to the NCAA tournament in those days. So despite a 24-1 regular season finish, a number one national ranking, and an undefeated conference record, the Wolfpack still had to win the ACC tournament or go home empty-handed. That meant defeating a great Maryland squad in the tournament finals for the third time that season. Burleson unleashed the, one of the greatest games I've ever seen her. Bless his heart, that spirit and, and competitiveness won us so many games. Wolfpack has a one-point lead, 30 seconds to play. DeLuca looping a pass on it, it's got to be out of bounds! NC State hosted the NCAA East Regional and summarily dispatched number five Providence by 14 points and number 13 Pittsburgh by 28. The Pitt game provided the most dramatic moment of the postseason. Thompson lay unconscious for more than four minutes before being carried to nearby Rex Hospital. His head bandaged, Thompson made a dramatic return to a thunderous ovation midway through the second half. The regional championship earned NC State a rematch with UCLA in the national semifinals in Greensboro. The game was tied at halftime, tied at the end of regulation, and tied after one overtime period. All seemed lost when the Bruins jumped to a seven-point lead 90 seconds into the second overtime. Coach Sloan looked at us, he says, we've come too far, we've worked too hard to give up. Exactly what he told us. Tao starts up the lane, fires a jumper, and he missed it. Tapped up by Burleson. Tommy Burleson. 
Johnson with a tremendous tap in. Two minutes left. Wolfpack trading by four. There's one of the whips. Stolen away. Knocked it away. Picked up by Mo Rivers. Then Monty drew a charge. I scored a few baskets, and before you know it, we were one point down with the ball. I drove to the right, cross over to the left. Let's move down the left side. He shoots over Wilson. Hits. Wolfpack leads. Greg Lee will make the inbounds pass. It comes to Walton. Stolen away by Burleson. Tommy got it. It's picked up by Mo Rivers. Tommy Burleson with a steal. Passes on. North Carolina State has ended UCLA's national championship reign. A 12-point victory over number three Marquette in the national finals two nights later seemed almost anticlimactic. While some may question whether the 1974 Wolfpack was the ACC's greatest team, there is no disagreement that Thompson, a three-time first-team All-American and two-time National Player of the Year, was the conference's greatest player. A six-foot-four forward whose unbelievable leaping ability overshadowed incredible overall basketball skills, Thompson was a transcendent player who could dominate the game from anywhere on the court. Tommy Burleson, a seven-foot-two giant who earned second-team All-America that year, was a dominant scorer, rebounder, and shot blocker. His presence under the basket allowed his teammates to gamble on the defensive end. Burleson remains one of the greatest centers in ACC history. At five foot seven, point guard Monty Tao combined surprising quickness with tremendous ball handling skill and a deadly shooting range. He was the perfect floor general for the 1974 Wolfpack. Power forward Tim Stoddard gave the Wolfpack strong inside play, bruising defense, and excellent passing. It was Stoddard who perfected the alley-oop pass to Thompson, which became the team's signature weapon. Mo Rivers, a terrific perimeter defender with a solid all-round game, rounded out a great starting five. Phil Spence provided inside punch off the bench, with Steve Noose and Mark Moeller also playing prominent roles as reserves. Orchestrating everything from the bench, colorful head coach Norm Sloan knew when to pull the reins and when to stay out of the way. Sloan, to this day, does not receive the credit he deserves as one of college basketball's great coaches. Was the 1974 NC State men's basketball team the greatest hoops team in Atlantic Coast Conference history? That's impossible to know for certain, but it's certainly safe to declare the 74 Wolfpack the best team in school history and among the very greatest the ACC has ever seen.